Let, let's shift that kind of shifts to a, another topic that I know is uh, something that you have a unique perspective on, and that's some of the, the solar technology and green technologies that are oh, yeah. out there in the marketplace. So I know that that's something that homeowners and, and in general, we're starting to see a lot more uh, become a lot more normal rather than something that's unusual. So talk a little bit about what you're, right. you're learning and observing there and how that's affecting appraisers and lenders. Um, it's here in Charlottesville, uh, where my primary practice area is, we're seeing a lot of it. The, the, I guess, I don't know if it's the university or the, just the, the, the mix of people here, uh, but they're very open to high performance homes and solar technology. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of it. I mean, I do, there's not a week that goes by that I don't do multiple solar PV valuations as part of a, a residential appraisal. Uh, it, it's very well adopted. It's, it's, uh, and we're seeing it at all levels. I mean, we've even got affordable housing projects now where they're doing it. And uh, it, the, the whole premise behind that is, well, how, if we can get them into a home that they can purchase and it's less expensive to operate, the ability for them to repay their, their loan is increased. Mm -hmm. So seeing a lot of it. Um, it's been a great revenue stream for our, our office. Uh, we're one of the only appraisal firms that actually do the work here. Uh, and it's worked out really well. And I get a lot of referral work from, from a lot of real estate agents because we're, we've been called into, I don't know if, the, if it's proper to say we saved a deal because it's not our job to facilitate as the appraiser as far as you know, making a transaction happen. But there have been situations where um, appraisers have been hired and they didn't necessarily understand what they were getting themselves into with a solar PV property and um, either ignored it or didn't handle it the right way. And we got called in, well, can you, can you come in and do an appraisal instead of the other company? And it, it's actually been a very positive thing for us. And we're starting, like I said, with Acuity, we're all around the country and we're starting to see a tremendous amount of this kind of work, uh, like in the Florida markets in Tampa, Miami, that area and Phoenix. And there's just, a, I, I don't think we're going to see any less of it. It's going to be more and more as time progresses. Yeah. The, I, I would agree with you there. It, it seems like, uh, as those technologies become more uh, affordable and uh, I think probably long lived and reliable, certainly does seem like it's gonna be part of the ecosystem for uh, valuation professionals for sure. If we can well, just get Musk and Tesla to, to create an affordable battery storage system, I think we'd even see the proliferation increase because that's the big holdup right now is that the, the storage of, of energy is such an expensive, option. Uh, solar panels have continued to go down. The battery systems are going down too, but they're not afford what I would consider to be approachable for most uh, most families that want to use a system like that. Interesting. Yeah, there's. I know there's a lot of component parts to that for sure. And I, I actually have heard that discussion Definitely. around the, the battery uh, component being really important because, uh, you know, the sun doesn't shine all day. Right. Well, thank you very much for your time and the discussion today. Woody, appreciate your insight and your willingness to share your thoughts and observations with us. And with that, I will say farewell. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Sean.